Hello, I'm Mrs. Vilberg and welcome to Makeup by the Vilbergs. Today we're creating this look. I hope you like it. Hello, men's, women's and assorted glam goblins. The Wilbergs here and it's time for another makeup tutorial. Today we're creating an 80s smudgy glam rock look inspired by loads of cool people but Nina Hagen comes to mind. I want to keep the base really pale today so I'm only using three Kryolan supper colors to contour, all listed below. As you might know, the missus is not a big fan of eyebrows, but I think this look really needs a pair of dark ones. I like tracing the eyebrows in the base when the paint is still wet. This way you can get them the shape you want them to be. And if you make a mistake, it's really easy just to blend them off and start all over again. I'm outlining the shape of the eyebrows with one of the lighter supper colors that I used for the base earlier. And then drawing on the brows with the darker supper color, the V26. Blend it all out and then you're done. It's easy, right? Set the base with translucent powder and brush it off. Give the base some color with a blush. I'm using Bright Coral by Maquillage. Apply around the contouring and the nose. Start the eye makeup by framing the eye with an eyeliner. I'm using the One Cold Black by Maquillage. It has a rubber tip on the other end that you can use to smudge out the eyeliner after drawing it on. Before we start, I apply a layer of Necre loose powder under the eye, or I will get the eyeshadows everywhere. Like I said, I want to do a smudgy glam rock eye makeup today, so I'm going to start doing an undertone from red to black on the lid, using three different colors. I start with a red color from Kryolan in the corner of the eye, the SNM followed by a brown and a black one from the Pat McGraw Mothership 2 Sublime Palette, blending the colors together as I go along. Even if I want this makeup to look messy and smudgy, I don't want it to look horrible, so I'm cleaning up the edges with a Q-tip before I brush off the residue. Apply some sparkle in the corner of the eye using the Violet 007 pigment from Pat McGraw. It's time to oomph up the brows. I'm using the same two eyeshadows as I used for the for the eyes, the dark and extreme black from the Mothership 2 palette from Pat and Girl Labs. Clean up the brows with the skin-toned eyeshadow sheer from Peggy Sage. Now it's time to create an eyelid. And I'm cutting the crease using a lipstick from Pat McGraw Liquid Lust Collection, the Revelation Red. This lipstick dries as an eyeshadow, so you can practically use it everywhere you want to. But if you're really fast, you can add some OCC Glitter Red before it dries. The eyelid is almost done now, I just need to darken the eyelid some more using the Extreme Black and finishing off with a sharp eyeliner around the eye. I really love the dual ended marker from Pat McGraw, it's a must buy. Now when the eyeshadows are where I want them to be, I finish the smudgy eye by circling it with the violet 007 pigment again. And give the eyebrows a final lift with sheer eyeshadow. After curling and painting our lashes, it's time for the false lashes. The missus has fallen in love with smaller, lighter lashes that doesn't weigh down on her eyes as much, so we're using the Double Up by Adrel. Nothing says glam rock more than a deep red lip, so we start by outlining the shape of the lip with a Night Fever lip pencil, followed by filling the lip with a matte trans lipstick, both from Pat McGraw Labs.
finish the look with a highlighter and don't be afraid to pound it on. We're using iridescent pink from, you guessed it, Pat McGraw. And we're done! The look is complete and I feel amazing! If you have any questions, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Instagram too, we are pretty awesome. Bye!